Hi, I'm Kara Coulter, Vice President of the Western Pennsylvania Mushroom Club. Uh, today, I'm going to look for morels. So I made this chart. It shows you the four most common species of morel in Pennsylvania. And when compared to each other, about when they fruit. So you'll see Morcella angusticeps fruits much earlier than Morcella americana. Because of this, if you're looking around and you find a few black morels or some half-free morels, and you're wondering, gee, why can't I find any of these white morels? Well, it's because they're not out yet. They're just not prime yet. You might just need to wait a little bit longer. So let's start off with uh, the Morcella diminutiva, the tulip morel. It is what I think is one of the tastier morels, although it's also one of the smallest. I'm pretty sure we're going to do good. It's about time for them to be popping up, so let me show you how you can find them. Okay, so when you're walking, a lot of people often look for elm trees, but they tend not to look at things like good old black cherry trees and honeysuckle. Um, they tend to do form these mycorrhizal associations with other species under the ground. Here we got black cherry. It's a, it's a bark kind of looks like a potato chips and it's a darker tree. Its base doesn't have extremely large um, buttresses like say elm, but you know, they're there. And they can be nice and thick, tall and straight. So uh, if we go ahead and we just start looking around the base of this, you can already find one of our little guys. Yeah, and this is Morcella diminutiva. You can see it's very small. It's not ready to be at the moment. Give it a couple days and we should be fine. And uh, they tend to grow around spice bush as well. So I tend to find this connection between um, the black cherry and the spice bushes. And as you can see, in this situation, it's working. <laughs> so how you can tell if it's spice bush is if you take one little leaf, crush it up, and then bring it to your nose and smell it, you'll have this really lovely aroma. So that's how you know it's spice bush. Sun says you found something good over here. And what do we got? Oh. Tommy, you slipped on yourself. Uh, all right. So we... I'm sorry. So you can see, my son found a nice, uh, bigger diminutiva. Still a little small, might let it grow a bit, but it's probably going to be pretty nice. Again, so this here, again, another spice bush. See, near this connection, we've got these black cherry trees around here. And there just seems to be some kind of connection. So if you see these black cherries and these uh, spice bush, just look around the basis and you could do quite well for uh, the tulip poplar morels, otherwise known as Morcella diminutiva. Oh, we got another little guy here, see him? So this spot, in a little bit. I found that. Yeah, you found most of these, Tristan. You pretty much found all of these. This is why you bring children with you, because they have good eyesight. And uh, they can find them very easily. And they enjoy it, right, Tristan? Yes. Oh, wait. Did you find another one? I also I just remember. See? Bring your kids. Very good. So, but I found one. It's a baby. Look at that. It's just starting to pop. Oh man. A couple more days and we're getting some rain tomorrow. We've got this guy right here. He always does so well at finding these things. It's just good. that one right there. Oh man, look at more. See? He's doing always worth it to bring the kids. You almost on that one. Mommy, you almost slipped on that one that you. Uh oh. I didn't though, did I? Did I step on it? Did. Try not to be a clod like me. Okay, again, let's see. Why do you think that they'd be here, Tristan? What's here? We've got some dead trees. We've got that black cherry there. 
Black cherry there. Black cherry, but what else? What else do we have? We also have. That's here. right, spice bush. Got these spice bush here, and look, there they are, just growing around it. So nice, and look at how nice and moist everything is here, right? So here is what we were able to collect throughout the day, all from looking around the spice bush. Now you'll see the different variations in colors, but after microscopy, these all were the same species, and they were all Morcella diminutiva, which is really interesting. The second morel I'd like to cover here is Morcella angusticeps. It's one of the earliest fruiting morels. Right. These are beautiful. Do you see that? Look at that. So this one here is Morcella angustipes. This is a black morel. Now you can see how they have a more conical top, but they're, they're full to the stem. They've got this beautiful dark, um, these beautiful dark outlines on their pits. Um, they, these are one of the harder ones to find. I actually normally find these around birch, so I'm surprised to find these around an elm, but I guess, you know, that's one of the spots you can find them. And there you go. It's another one here. Beautiful. So, not even that long and we've already gotten nice little nice black morels here. Our third morel we'll be covering is Morcella punctipes. It is another one of the early fruiting morels. So I, we've come across this Morcella punctipes and um, as I'm sure many of you heard they like to grow around uh, slippery elm and in this situation that's where we've been finding them today we found a couple different species of morel but here i'll show you this one nice big big uh morcella pumptipes or um half freeze another is the common name let's ch check it out so here is our morcella pumptipes as you can see that cap doesn't come all the way down, but that stem, you see how it's a little bit rougher? That's how you can tell this from, say, like Verpa conica. You got these beautiful ridges in there. This is a true morel, believe it or not. It doesn't look so much like the more popular morels, but um, absolutely is one. Now, this I morel no, that's a leaf. did find a little Verpa earlier. So as you can see, the Verpa has a much smoother stipe here. Oh, so you you're got, doing a comparison. Yeah. Like, uh, if you put them side by side, you can see the difference here. Um, this cap can be much more wrinkly. Right now this is in the smoother version. But you can see it's kind of got this cottony, hollow inner stem. See that cotton in there? That's pretty typical for a verpa. I'm going to kind of open this up with my finger a little bit here so you can see. See how that, see how that looks inside there? That kind of cottony look. And that's more indicative of verpa. Now, okay, so we have this uh, slippery elm here. We have a nice little shrub. It looks like a dogwood. And... Um, yeah, so it's looking like a good area where we might find some stuff. Do you see anything, honey? Yes. Ah, here we go. Here we go, right here. Oh, and there's another one over there. There's another one right in front of you. What? Oh, jeez, there's another one right in front of me. Huh. Okay, so you see right oh, there's here. There's one right there. Oh, yeah, we got another one here. See, we got a nice little area here. And let me see what this, this is here. Look at that spice bush, spice bush. It's growing around the spice bush. Told you there's just a connection there. And this is a completely different park than I was at uh, when I was showing you the Morcella diminutiva. So we've got these half trees growing here. Now these ones should be, this is about end of season for them. So that's why they're a little bit uh, not so good looking. <laughs> 
but they're here. So oh, hey, did you just see that big one? I did see that big one over there. Yeah, we got a nice little spot here. See, you got the elm. Um, at the other place it was the black cherries, but here it's elm and spice bush again. Look at that. So the last morel we're going to be talking about is Morcella americana. It used to be called Morcella esculenta, but they found that it has been split from the old world species and it is its own new distinct species. It's acquired the common name of the white morel. So it looks like our hard work paid off. We've got this uh, slippery elm tree over here. And at the base of it, we found some very, very nice morels. So you can see here, here is a beautiful, beautiful morel we've got. Again, right at the base of this uh, slippery elm tree. And then my son over here, he found another lovely one. The biggest one. The biggest one. <laughs> Look at that. That's gorgeous. That's the size of my hand. Come here, here, show it me. up. Show it lengthwise. Put your hand up. Like, uh, prop it. Oh. Like, yeah, there you go. See that? It's Look at that beauty. That is a nice morel. So, here you are. We've got uh, this nice, beautiful one here. And then nice. he's found another I one. one. I mean, we just and keep finding them. Over there. They're all there. You find the right stuff. You find the right trees and you will just keep finding them. So we, we've got about what, like four or five? Oh, there's five. another one over oh, there, five. honey. Where? Look, see it? Oh, my. There's a lot. Yeah, look at that. Right over here, we've got another big one. See that? Look at how beautiful that is. So, you know, just keep going and you'll find it. Oh, and look, there's some Paziza, too. That's interesting. Actually, that might not be Paziza. You know what that is? I think this is Jeremetra and Silas. I think that this is the, uh, I think, well, what's the nickname for it? Pig ear? Yep, it is. Look at that. What are they? Look at this. Jeremetra and Silas. Okay, well, that, what is Jeremetra? Um, Jeremetra is a genus of uh, mushroom, and uh, these ones are flat and disc like. And uh, yeah. So, here's a good example of that Jeremetra and Silas. See? See how flat it is there? Now, whenever I lift this up, you will see a bit of a stem. That's how you know it's not Faziza. See that? I'm going to show you Morcella diminutiva. I think these ones are... <laughs> I think these ones are quite yummy. Yeah. What? Um, yes. But uh, we found some cool rust fungies and some, uh, some weird mushroom species. So I hope this helps you find your first morel. <laughs> Just while searching for these, I already had two people catch me. And, uh... I'm, you know, I showed them where I found them, so long as they promise not to hunt here. <laughs> yeah, but so I'm happy to show at least two people their first morels. Um, all right, so I hope you get out there this weekend. Get out, have fun, and look for, uh, look for those connections.